Hi Pisces, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I have pre-shuffled these three decks for you. I am going to be doing a weekly love reading for the week of October 9th through October 15th. It may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. As I was turning the camera on and getting ready to do your reading right before I turned the camera on, I heard, just do it. And then I stood up to turn the camera on. It says, stop procrastinating. <laughs> so I think that's for you. I'm going to go ahead and lay out your cards. I have started a spiritual... Uh, Guidance Live Feeds group on Facebook. The link will be down below. I will be doing free mini readings there daily, usually at night, late at night, between 9 and 11 Eastern Time. If you want to join, you could get picked for a free reading. That's on Facebook. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. In, of course, if you'd like a private reading, you can email me about that. We look at that. This has pretty much happened for the moon. This is Pisces. It has happened for every sign almost that that I've done so far. That the person I do has been the center of the reading. It happened for Taurus. It happened for Sagittarius. And now it's happening for you. So this is the sign of Pisces. That is the basis of your reading. It's happened for Taurus and Sagittarius too. That is amazing. So, anyway, this is just telling me that you're living in your essence this week, okay? Everything should, you know, you're living in, in your true self, okay? You're just being very uh, much you, okay? There's no fakeness about it, which you're not anyway, but this is just saying that you are living in your essence this week in a very big way. We do have the moon connected up here. Not the moon, the fool. We have, you're the moon. Um, the fool up here that says that you are going, that you're starting over on something, starting fresh, all right? Connected to you. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So, I mean, I think that there's a lot of fresh starts this week where people are just looking at things from a new perspective. And I think that you definitely are. I think maybe you're releasing some fears. Um, and you're just moving forward on something. I see that you're starting over. You're starting something over, okay? Having faith in something, whereas perhaps maybe you had this fear, and I think you're replacing it with f faith in the unknown instead of fear of the unknown, and you're moving to a much more peaceful spot in your life. You're just feeling at peace this week. We do have... Um, a lot of healing that's been going on and you know this this new this renewal you know this this fresh start is is leading to your hopes and wishes being fulfilled there's wish fulfillment here um per, there is some illusions though so don't get too caught up because there is a little bit of illusions right here and i mean there's so much water energy so there, it's very, it's a week of deep emotions, of mastering your emotions, and you may be even feeling overwhelming about somebody or something, and I think it's in a good way, though. I think these, there's a lot, I mean, there could be, it looks really good, it looks like there's a lot of positive emotions, okay, where it's kind of like, um, almost euphoric happiness, it just looks like it's a very, very good week, okay, very good week, loving, kind, generous, just like, oh, just very good, just at ease, and just very, very um, generous, okay, this week, and feeling so good, if I can just explain it any better, it just feels like you guys are really loving yourself, and loving, just very, it's a renewal, it's a re week of rebirth, there's just so much color and vibrancy and happiness and just at ease and I'm comfortable and it's good and just it was a very just if you can get what I'm trying to say I really went into extremes and that's what it's going to be like it's going to be like an extremely good week of feeling very good all right um we have, and I think, you know, this is an entrepreneur. So if you are a business, if, you, if you're if you a business owner, or if you're in your career, this is somebody who 
takes the lead and is recognized for their hard work okay they focus they've made a plan they're doing it they're they're taking action they're not sitting back they're not waiting for things to happen i think this week there is no procrastinating okay so that came out for a reason there isn't things are happening for you and it's very good it is very good um you are. I think you're very intellectual this week. You're you are definitely looking at things from another perspective. There's just excitement, and you know you you're reaping some reward of some sort. You know, and you're feeling really good. This is something new on a physical level. So you could be getting more money. You could be buying something big. Um, you could be feeling very abundant, very stable and secure, or getting some new something that makes you feel more abundant, okay, given to you, or even purchasing it. But this could be a week of getting something new, all right? Um, <laughs> all right, so we definitely have a few people. We have a few, few people here in your reading. Um, it maybe you're you're with your partner right now, okay? Your your life partner, and if not, I mean they could be in the picture because we have a couple. We have two couples here, okay? This is a couple, and this is a couple. So a lot of you are either in a relationship with somebody who is the one, okay? Or you are will meet the one very soon. But I think for the, for this right now, this means that. A lot of you are in the relationship with the one, okay? Um, that's what it looks like to me when we have these two couples. We have the king and queen of swords and the king and queen of cups. Those are real couples. So you could be like with your soulmate, all right? Just want to throw that out there. Um, and that could be one of the reasons why you're so happy. Maybe you have just realized that somebody's your soulmate. I'm not sure. Um, this may or may not resonate with all. And then bits and pieces might resonate and not the other. This is a time of rebirth. I mean, there could even be some pregnancies or um, having babies, okay? Or you could um, learn of a somebody in your family, uh, you know. But for a lot of it, it could be you or it could just be a renewal of your soul altogether. You just feel like you've been born again. It's like you're starting over. You're starting fresh and you're feeling good. Like the past is the past and to hell with that shit. And I am moving forward and I am so happy about it. And I'm not looking back because it just looks like you are at a period of renewal, of rebirth. Okay? It does. You're, you you could be um, getting together with somebody from your past. Could be somebody from your childhood or somebody you've known from a while ago or somebody that um, you dated before in the past. Maybe somebody from a past life. But you could. You're, I think a lot of you are reminiscing about the past. Or we have somebody you know that had that is dealing with children here. Somebody is going to get pregnant or um, have a baby. All right, that's what I see. So um, we do have a lot of desires here. Uh, we have the devil card. And like I said, it's like a euphoric week. Okay, it is. It's like there's the, these addictions perhaps and um, obsessions or um, just these carnal desires that are, or desires period, that are that you're feeling like, you're feeling exuberantly, put it that way, okay? And you're just, it's just one of those weeks where it's like very, um, a whole week of illusions, but it's, but it's good illusions, you know? It's, it's very happy, all right? Um, and wish fulfillment, okay? It is, it's just so, I mean, I can't stop smiling, put it that way, and that's what your week is gonna be like. I just can't stop smiling. There could, there's definitely like a deep connection with you and another, okay? The moon is right over the moon, and that card represents Pisces. It's amazing how the cards fall out. It really is. 
Okay, you are acting in your essence this week and you are going to be in your complete comfort zone 100%. I don't see any anything wrong at all. You know, I don't. And this, a lot of people will say this is a card of fear, you know, in secrets and in the unknown. But, you know, I don't do them reversed because I don't need to because I get the messages that I hear and I consider the reversed. And I feel like you guys are going to be in your very own element this week. Like, unbelievably. All right. <laughs> the ace of pentacles twice okay this is a this is a gift from above it is security stability um something on a physical level if you've been waiting for money if you've been waiting for something to pick up your hard work has paid off and the money is gonna start coming in if that's the case if you're worried about it or you could get a gift of money all right your hard work has paid off all right this all this you you've had to work for this you've been through a lot it's like you've been fighting this battle and you've been waiting for it to come to fruition and you've been waiting to put put the swords down or the wands or whatever it is and just and waiting for this stuff to come in you know you've had faith in your ability whatever it was you've had faith and now finally this week it should be really paying off Okay, you've taken the time and you may have even secluded yourself from others to get the job done. And now is your week of reward. This is your week of reward. And you're going to be feeling on top of the world. This could be a new home. We have the Ace of Pentacles twice. It's a new security, but it is good. We're going to get three of these. And you could tell by my excitement how you were going to feel. Any despair that you had is gone. Ten of Swords, the end of a difficult situation. I just described it about a minute and a half ago. Oh, <laughs> wish fulfillment. Thank you, God. Your wish comes true. I just got done telling you that, too. And like I said, you may have secluded yourself to get the job done. Four of Cups, missing an opportunity, which you weren't. You were concentrating on something else. This is open your eyes to all those possibilities. This card means so many things. You have not missed any opportunities. This card means that you were focused on something else at the time. You went within. Okay, you have to go by the other cards because you were you had faith that this was going to pay off. Okay? And now your wishes are coming true. This week looks great. Doesn't mean that everything is going to happen overnight. Doesn't mean all your wishes are going to come true tomorrow. It means that things are happening in your favor towards your wishes coming true. The end of difficulty. Difficulty. Talk to you later, Pisces. Remember, join my group if you want to receive a mini free reading. All right? Otherwise, you can just book a, book a private one. That works, too. Talk to you later.